And how many of you do a nice, thorough, deep covered baker talk? How many would you say that you can do a nice, thorough, deep covered baker talk? All right, so you can, I can sell somebody a deep covered baker for $88, and it'll change their cooking, and I don't feel a bit guilty about going on and on about that, because I know that I've got to hit a few buttons till I hit the one that is going to get them. It might not be the pork tenderloin, but it might be the cake, it might be, you know what I mean? You just keep throwing chum out to figure out what it is that they're going to bite at. And it's the same with the business. You cannot just say, hey, we've got a really great business, and if you ever want some information, you let me know. If it doesn't sell it, it doesn't give them enough reason. People need to know what's the risk and what's the benefit. Now, I didn't even talk about the $200, the rock crack benefit, and I'm, you know, I probably would throw that out too. Um, but there's enough benefit from just that for people to try it. And you will be amazed if you would give them permission to do that, they will do it. If you make it difficult, or you make it sound like, now you take some information home, Karen? You know, Brad, there are a lot of things that you do so superbly well. But what I think we need to notice here is that there are a lot of people, maybe in this room, who want to say, I don't really sell things. And they think Pepper Chef sells itself. But what you're watching is a master salesperson. It doesn't just sell itself. It does, but to be more effective, you yeah. have to sell it. You have to sell the dream, sell the lifestyle, and that's what you do, right. and build relationships. But to me, what you do the best is you build relationships. You make, I've been at your show, I, I watched you connect with every person in that room, and that's what she does. She makes them feel important, and she makes Pampered Chef fit into their life. Mm, right, no matter she what. She talking about it until they... Yeah, I just, so I just keep badgering it. No, I don't. But, um, <laughs> But uh, I will tell you, I do, I do very few interviews outside the show. I interview them right at the party. So Belinda gave us the five steps. You can quickly breeze through. You can inform them. You can invite them. You can interview them. And you can sign them at the party. Lots of women do not need that time that we give them. As a matter of fact, if you give them the time, they will be on to something else. Type A personalities do not want to think about things. I hate thinking about things. It drives me crazy. Let's do it, let's don't do it. My husband is a type B, as you all know. So assume that they're a type A and try to get them signed right then. Give them the option, because if you don't give them the option, you probably will lose them, or it'll be more difficult to get them. If they're a type B, they gotta think about it, great. Give them the information. But at the party, I signed the one girl, and on Monday I have two phone calls, one at 11 and one at 12, for two more who wanna sign. So. You got, I give, you know, they didn't, weren't ready to sign up, so great, then I'll call you. And you set up a specific appointment. You never just say, I'll call you, because I was going to be at this. I said, I won't be available till Monday. Then the second girl, I said, well, I've got an 11 o'clock. Can I call you at 12? I wrote it on a, a business card and gave it to them, you know? You have to be really intentional. If you're going to build a business, this is your business. And if you want it to be what you dream it to be, you've got to put the work into it. Oh. Marna did not hesitate at all the other night about asking everybody that checked out about which one of those kits would you like to get. So she was not afraid to do that. So that's one of the qualities she has. She, she talks about that like she's talking about the salad chopper. It's, you know, a, it's, it's the same thing, all right? It's just right into the checkout. Which, which, which kit would you like? I'll right. give you information. Could we just talk? You know, so she just set up talking times with people. Right. So, uh, and what do you send home from? I don't even know. It's just nothing. I mean, I give them a season's, season's best cook best because you with know. A with, with a brochure. Sure sure yeah. yeah. But I'm going to depend on my phone call to oh, talk yeah. to Erin. Can you just role play with, like, Linda or Gail or Tom or some <laughs> What you exactly say at checkout for a client? Sure. Ahead, Paula? Somebody? Somebody over there. Well, you can just sit there. We'll do long distance. Yeah. I, might, I might just say, okay, so Gail comes in to sit down. And the first thing you always want to do is try to get a yes answer. You're going to ask him something, you know. You're going to ask him, like, so Gail, it was so great to see you, girlfriend. Did you have a good time tonight? Great time. It was so great meeting you, and thank you so much for telling me about the Deep Covered Baker. So let me ask you a couple questions. You know, first of all, I would love to know, have you ever thought about selling Pampered Chef? You would be so great at this. And, you know, I'm not just telling you that, but you know what? You've got the great personality. And what do you do for work right now? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Well, you know what? I, is there anything about selling Pampered Chef? If I gave you some information and we chatted about anything about selling Pampered Chef that would appeal to you at all? Yes. Okay, tell me what. Well, I really like the products. Me too. Most, you know what? Most consultants sign up with a company where they love the product. So, you know what? Did you look at the kits? Let's look. Let's turn the catalog over and let's at least look at the kits. So, I've got the 99 and the 159. 
typically, you know, if you had to guess, which one do you think you'd love? Do you have everything that comes in the $99 kit? No, okay. I think I would like the, the, the better the big value. One. You know what, if, if a consultant can afford it, I always suggest that because it's such a good deal. Would you agree that $600 for the stuff for one fifty nine dollars is a deal? It's a deal. All right. So, and what about hosting a party with me in the next couple weeks? Could you find three hours once in the next couple weeks we could do a party? I think so. Okay. So, you know what, if, you're gonna, if you'll do a party, we'll get a kit for you. And you know what, I'll come and do all the work. I promise you I'm gonna make it easy for you. We're gonna get you some training in the next 24 hours. But I'd love to work with you, what do you think? Now, it might not, you know, she might say yes, she might say no, but would you have signed up? Yeah, she just made it so easy. I just wanna sign up again. Excuse me. this most women like to be talked into something you might not think it you might not think but some women they need a little bit of encouragement and they're looking for someone that wants them and will encourage them and help them so it's your job to tell them I'm gonna help you what do you think I'd love to have you it sound so easy yeah. it is easy Just simple it's 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 an it's not a big obligation. I'm not doing anything to them. They're getting the deal of the day. Trust me, they're they're getting the best deal. That I just you know gave myself some work because now I got to do another darn party and I got to train her. But I want to help her. The whole thing is about what it would do for her if she wants it. You know, if she wants to do it, I want to help her. Um, so I might do that. Marna, how might you convince someone who just says no? She said, if she says no to the business completely, I said, well, I might say, you know, if I gave you some information, would you at least take it home and look at it, you know? And that's how I got those other two. Change someone's mind completely? All the time. <laughs> All the time. So, but I'm going to try to get him to sign up that night. And um, just with a little of encouragement, Gail might have just said, well, you know, do you want to get that deal? If she doesn't, the other thing is you want to make sure if they have an interest in selling, if you don't get them signed up that night, you want to make sure that you get them on your party and your calendar for a party. Because what can happen sometimes if you're, you know, you don't don't have the recruiting skill completely down pat, you go to call them, you know, and then they've gone in the witness protection plan, and then you can't find them, and then you know they're gone, and now you've lost the booking too. But if you book them, so you always treat a booking like a recruit lead. You always give every booking business opportunity information, and you treat every recruit as a booking. If you'll always do that, you'll always get your calendar full. You'll always have, you know, it'll be nice and harmonious, right? Um, and then a lot of times, you know, if they absolutely won't do the business, then I can get them to do a party. Or if not, then you know what? Thanks so much and have a nice life. Bye-bye. I'm never going to see them again then, most likely. If they're not booking and they're not selling. I just offered you the best things. Like That's right. You can't subject them. That's right. And, they're, and not everybody's going to do it. But I will tell you, I almost, I almost get one at every party, maybe one every other, every two parties. You know, I recruit four to eight people a month, so this is how I do it, and they, they qualify at the same rate. They, you know, you don't need, how many times have you hired somebody, you've courted them, you've called them, you've taken them out, you've called them back, you've done, you do everything, and they finally say yes, they're not any more likely to complete their obligation than this type A personality. They're probably going to do it faster because they can get on it right away. They could have a party next week where the type B has to think about it. Oh, I don't know. Let me look at my calendar, you know, blah, blah, blah. You got the idea, right? Um, yeah. Do they still place an order the that Yeah, that's a great question because the deal of the day flyer that I had offered a $10 discount off the kit, and that was Kelly Price's flyer. Lydia Martin, though, tweaked it to give them, if they buy the kit tonight, a 20% discount on their order, which is genius, because then it kind of helps the host, they'll purchase. And you give them what they would have, for now they're a consultant, so you're giving them their consultant discount. That's genius, I like that idea, lots better. And then a lot of times I'll say, and when you purchase the kit, that doesn't help our host Marie's, so can I give you some suggestions on what else you might want to get tonight? And usually they'll place an order and buy the kit. That make sense? What are a few things you suggest they get right off the bat? What are um, you saying? Salad choppers. I would suggest they get salad choppers, can opener, you know, the things that we know are, are hard. Like Deep covered shears. baker, professional shears, that kind of thing. Small scoop, some, you know. Yeah, anything that would be, you know, 
they, but I've had girls that have spent a hundred dollars and bought the kit, you know. So that's kind of it. That's so. Any so other you're questions? saying that you're giving them twenty dollars off, and you're paying for that twenty percent off the order. Uh, yes, I would pay that. Just like when they spend a hundred, that thirty percent, and I do order that at full price, just so you know. Um, I don't put that under the host disc, and I do nothing with it. I pay the full price. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you're trying to get a trip. You don't want to put it through at the discount. You want to put it through at full price. If you're willing to give up your commission, I can't see anything in the rules that says you can't sell something for a charge for less than what you, it sells from the catalog. So as far as I'm concerned, that's not against the company well, so rules. Just gets the benefit of the full price of the Correct. So you just put it on the self and gift in there, right? You know. Consultant gift. So if I take the 30% off, then I put the rest as consultant gifts so we get that nice little report at the end of the year. You're either going to pay taxes or you're going to give gifts away, so you might as well give some gifts away to get more business, right? And then your host is always happy because they're having $1,000 parties right and left, and they're much more likely to tell their friends, oh my gosh, I got $215 worth of stuff, then oh, I got $45. Well, who cares? You know, nobody wants that. You said you get um, one to two recruits a show. No, every month. other, I'm sorry. no, no, four to eight a four month. Four to eight a month. Okay. The one about every other show. All right. What about bookings? Bookings, bookings are good. Yeah, but how many do you get a month? Generally, she does. How many shows she does? I, I. <laughs> I can. I was doing 16 to 18 parties a month, okay. wow. and running. My team has 400 people on it. So I've been trying since the first of the year to cut my show schedule back to 12. But we re, we promoted three directors in the last four months, so I think it's working, right? I, I I'm trying to do what Belinda put my money where my time where I wanna. I can book and I can recruit. What I need to concentrate is trying to teach other people and give them the inspiration and. All the directors that are on my team here, this is how they run the group. Do we not all do this, kids? We all recruit at the shows, right? Kids? kids. Sandy? No? <laughs> I mean, this is, how we this is how we train. Yeah, I would say at this point, right about now, two. Two. Two bookings a show, I would guess, I, you know. I don't, I don't, and I'm not. she's probably losing some because she's recruiting. Right, right, so right. right. I always have to, great. No. right, I always am, you know, like the party I did this, at this place, in, I just went to Traverse City, the girl happened to have talked to a consultant on my team, was a friend of a friend downstate, so when she mentioned that she was friends of Director Candace, who is here, I said, well, of course, we'll sign you up. She said, well, can I sign with you? Or should I sign with Candace? I said, no, you should sign with Candace. Absolutely, we'll get you signed up. And then that girl took a lot of the bookings. But it's okay, it's two and a half hours away anyway. But, I mean, you just have to go in knowing what you want. If you want two or three bookings, you don't leave until you get two or three bookings. If you want recruits and you want to get them, you want them quickly and sign them, treat them, figure out how to, how, figure out what they need or want to offer it to them. So that's it. Anything Marty, else? You can have both goals. You can do the recruiting and the booking, right? Don't you know when you go to a show, you don't just say, I'm just here to recruit. Right. Oh, absolutely. Right, right, right. Right, I got to keep the bookings to keep. Because the other thing is, when you do that many parties, you're always in front. So you're always going to keep your personal team bringing in new recruits. You know, sometimes people cut their show schedule too low. Like Belinda said, your first priority is as a consultant, was that you this morning? That was that you? That was you guys. Your first priority is to be a good consultant. You know, it's just like, you know, on the airplane, put your oxygen mask on first. You've got to take care of you first. When your business is healthy, then you can affect everybody around you. But when you're scrounging around for bookings and you're thinking, oh, my God, I've got to get a booking or I'm going to die here, you know, everybody knows they can smell fear. You know how it is. The more you need it, you're desperate for a booking, you can't get a booking to save your soul. You can't. It, people can tell. So um, you get your bookings up, and then you keep it going with the two bookings of show. And... You'll never look back. You'll just be running. It'll be so fabulous. So I'll tell you a little about the Deep Cover Baker Workshop, how I did it, and then we'll be done, because I know you guys want to just drink.